Okay, Matthew, um, frustrating day? Yeah, horribly frustrating. I've just told him in the dressing room that's the worst um, I felt all season. Just said at half time, we're nearly getting there. You know, in terms of we were nearly getting on the end of crosses, we were nearly winning tackles, we were nearly winning headers, and I just felt it was a game like that today where we were half a yard short. Which, I'll be honest, as bad as you know, we've we've had bad days over the past season. We've never really, you know, I've never come off the pitch and felt we're not quite at it physically. I felt that today. Um, I, I just felt we, we were lacking all over a yard or a bit of strength or whatever. They they played like a team who were fighting for everything, and I, and I didn't feel like we did today, which is. Something I'm never going to accuse this team of, you know, the amount of times that even last week and you know everything that we've done over the course of the season. So I'm just hoping it's a blip. Um, we'll work hard and make sure that it that it is only a blip, and we'll get back to what we've been doing really well, which has been solid and compact. Um, you know, that six goals conceded in two games is not good enough. Um, we've pride ourselves on our good defensive record. Um, you know, Danny's come in, um, whether the boys are lacking a bit of confidence at the back is obviously we're missing Bobby and it is a big miss. There's no point painting anything different. Aidan's obviously come in from Glasgow Rangers, but he's still suffering um, a hip flexor injury that he'd, that he'd had previously. After the, the first goal, we were sort of chasing the game and, yeah. and, and Dougby done well to, to pick us off. In the because they, they, they were super on the counter attack then, and you know, the third goal for them, I obviously take full responsibility of, of sending an extra forward player on to try and go through at the back just because, you know, it's 2 0. Um, but 10 or 12 minutes to go and we're just trying to do it and we got caught with a soccer punch look it was good play from them and a good goal these things do happen in football we don't turn up and try to lose obviously and we and we we try to give everything that we've got today it wasn't good enough um, over the course of the season it has been good enough and that bears out in the league table that's why we're top of the league what we have to make sure that today's a blip and next in two weeks time we go against not if we turn this today and use it as a positive in a way that we can use this frustration and disappointment as fire to keep us going. All in all, we're, first, we're still five points clean at the top of the table. Just need to get back to what we do best. Yeah, clean sheets and be clinical in front of the goal, um, which we, we weren't today. Again, I just hope it's a blip. I hope it's a minor bump in the road. We're going to get them. There's 12 games left. There'll be more twists and turns. So long as we keep clear of everybody else, you know, I'm happy. We are top of the league. You know, we haven't turned into a bad team because we've lost a game of football today. And there's no way I'll even think of that. Disappointment will live now. And the problem with not being a game for two weeks, it's going to take a long time to rectify it. So my job is to, to make sure that they focus, remember what the, the end goal is, which is obviously making sure we top the league come the end of April, and focus on that. And focus on how we're going to do that and why we're going to do it, because we know it's of such importance. And you see the fans today, you know, Right the way to the death, you know, many of them could have turned against us, and you know, people aren't happy. I, I fully understand people, you know, being disappointed. Some of the things here are a bit silly, you know. And there's better players in the middles to leave. Well, it obviously isn't. That's why we're top of the league. Um, however, the 99% of people that got behind us and they were fantastic, and we didn't deserve that today. I'll be honest, we didn't deserve that support today. But they've given it us, and, and I'm so grateful and I went over to him at the end and I just said I apologise for the performance because it lands on my head I've no problem with that what I can do is guarantee that it won't happen again or I'll certainly endeavour through hard work that it won't happen again and I can only just thank them for the backing they give us all the way from minute one to minute 90 they'll not get that anywhere else I'll not see that support in the Irish League anywhere else today so credit to them so the one bonus is the fans were brilliant the players just didn't match up to it today unfortunately but over the course of the season I think it's been a good marriage where players and fans have matched each other on you know on and off the field in terms of effort and and passion today we didn't match what their passion was and turned into a defeat